Uh, as you said, uh, Mark Messina, CEO of Geek Plus Americas, and uh, Geek Plus is a new member to the RAA, so I'd like to thank you and the RAA for the opportunity to share our case study of our smart warehouse robotics. A little bit about myself, I'm originally from the Boston area with about 20 years in engineering operations and product development experience, and my background includes robotics R&D and factory automation, medical robotics, delivery drones, and warehouse interlogistics systems. I've been involved heavily in AI intelligent robotics for the last seven years, and I joined Geek Plus late last year to lead the Americas market. Thanks again for your time to share this case study of Geek Plus with our partner, Nike Japan. So who's Geek Plus? Uh, we're a global technology company with 850 employees and offices in Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, Japan, Germany, UK, America, and China. And we're China's first robotics unicorn with over $430 million in VC investment to date. About half of our 850 employees are R&D engineers who come from leading technology universities. And so we have very deep capabilities in artificial intelligence, machine learning, hardware and software development, and manufacturing. We're so into robots that we use our own robots to manufacture up to 30,000 robots per year in our own smart factory. And though our robots often take the spotlight, our real magic is the AI platform that orchestrates the movement of hundreds of robots, thousands of racks, and millions of pieces of inventory without a single collision or lost piece. We focus on developing solutions that automate the tasks that humans aren't particularly good at. And in doing this, we've literally inverted the normal warehouse operations. <clears throat> Instead of humans walking up to 15 miles a day to get inventory, our robots bring the inventory to the human. We let robots literally do the heavy lifting so humans can do what they do very well, which is navigating the complex physical movements of picking inventory. And even though you and I don't think twice about it, the simple act of picking up an object requires tremendous computation and sensing ability. So we like to think of things a bit like going to, to the grocery store <clears throat> to get something, excuse me. You'll spend most of your time navigating the store, and if you're like me, you'll be searching for the right brand, looking at other products, buying stuff you don't need, et cetera, et cetera. And actually, only a short part of the whole trip is spent handling the thing you're looking for. And you'll be lucky, lucky if you get the right item by the time you leave. Humans are really good at handling, handling geometrically complex objects, much better than we are at finding objects in a big, ambiguous, open space. The key here is our robots free humans to do the work they naturally do very well and efficiently, and we let the robots do the other tasks. So today I'll share with you our case study of the Nike Japan Automated Distribution Center. As you know, Nike Japan is a leading sports apparel retailer. Well, Nike wanted to provide their customers in Japan the same day delivery and introduce the tagline, dreams shouldn't have to wait to go along with it. As a leader in the apparel industry, Nike knows that customers have come to expect this level of service, and it's a key market advantage. So the Nike Japan team had a hard look at their existing operations to see if there was any way they could achieve same length, same day delivery. The operations were standard operations and not flexible, efficient, or adaptable. And as it turns out, they couldn't deliver same day, so they reached out to us. So the solution that I'm presenting today is our goods to person system. And in this picture, you can see our, our silver P-series robots with their blue lights on, sitting underneath the inventory pods, which are the racks with the corrugate bins. Each robot is about two and a half by three feet, and the racks are about nine feet by three feet by three feet, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about size-wise. So what you're seeing here is a small part of a very large, very dense space that we call the storage field. Each of the four sides of the field is lined with workstations where the operators stand. In this image, you don't see the humans because they're busy at the workstation, standing on a comfortable work mat, ergonomically picking product at a few hundred picks per hour. We even gamify the UI so workers can compete against each other. Here's a little video that will give you a better idea of the system in operation. So here you can see a robot that was dispatched to collect the pod that has items to be picked at the workstation. In order to avoid traffic, the robots can travel under the pods to take the shortest path. So the field to an unloaded robot, it looks completely open. Once it reaches the target pod, it lifts it and carries it to a workstation where a touchscreen is displaying the bin location to pick from and a large picture of the item to be picked. The humans pick the item, scan it, and sends it along in the fulfillment process while the robot leaves to put the pod back in the field. 
So you can see how this method improves picking rates from a traditional walk, hunt, and find rate to a very high pick as quick as you can rate. Also with secondary scanning, we get virtually 100% item pick accuracy. So that's the operation for one item being picked. But behind the scenes, the AI platform is simultaneously optimizing hundreds of orders in the path of just as many robots to ensure no bottlenecks or idle time for the humans or the bots. Can you advance? Sorry, we're not seeing. So as I mentioned, our focus at Geek Plus is automating tasks that aren't improved by human ability. We eliminate miles of daily walking and increase order pick rate for, for Nike Japan from about 100 picks per hour to well over 300. And actually that number improves as our system learns and adjusts based on the day-to-day -day operating, operating conditions. The Nike system consumes much less electricity and requires much less cooling than a standard DC. This means higher efficiency and more comfortable workplace, which translates to higher employee retention and fewer workplace injuries, and that reduces employee turnover. Aside from the obvious improvements in human resource utilization, we also have very high density storage, meaning better use of that expensive building we aim to use every cubic foot of space and our system optimizes the inventory at the bin, pod, and field level. To do this, our AI decides, based on specific item demand, how to store all the stuff. Do we mix items at the bin or pod level, or do we make those, those locations all the same item? The system optimizes this automatically, and the AI is always moving the inventory, doing a real-time heat mapping behind the scenes to put the right inventory closest to the workstation so robot trips are short and we keep the pick rates high. The AI, AI is also looking for order patterns. In most cases, we'll randomize the inventory in the field in order to distribute it so that it's always closest to a workstation. The software is also in the background doing a friends and family analysis. For example, a particular shoe might often also be ordered with a particular set of shorts. The software looks for these patterns and stores the inventory in the same pod so we get two picks at the same workstation. We even bury slow movers and send robots to dig out a pod. We do this so that we can press the inventory into an area, eliminating highways and slow moving zones. We're considering inventory pairing, density, picks per facing, distance to the workstation, traffic, queuing, order assembly, batching and waiting, battery charging, and order prioritization all in real time. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. You get the idea that our AI is playing a massive numbers game all the time. Nike Japan has nearly 100% order accuracy. Think about that. With Nike, nearly every item looks the same. It's a red box with a swoosh. How to tell which shoe model, which size you're picking with a, tr with a traditional hunt, identify, and pick model. In a traditional find and pick system, humans are really inefficient at picking such similar items. The goods to person system solves this by presenting only the right shelf and the right inventory with visual indicators and confirmation scanning of the filled orders. So the next reason Nike selected our solution is that in a word, it's flexibility. Today, flexibility is king. E-commerce today is extremely dynamic. Customers are mercurial. There's flash sales, seasonal changes, holidays, holidays from multiple countries, changes in shipping carriers and routes, and on and on. Prior to intelligent automation systems, DCs were designed around what I call heavy iron. Huge systems built on core elements that are literally bolted to the floor. Conveyors, sorters, racks, pick mods, and lots of space dedicated to infrastructure and egress. How do you change a system like this when it's literally bolted to the floor? Well, the simple answer is you can't. The system at Nike Japan is dynamic and flexible. It easily adapts to changes in the business, and it does that mostly on its own. With traditional systems, the whole machine pretty much runs regardless of demand. With goods to person, we consume less energy and have lower operating costs since we only operate the components that are necessary. But we can also adapt to entirely different products. Let's say today the system is handling primarily footwear. But what if tomorrow Nike Japan business changes and they start shipping mostly smartwatches or shirts instead? It's no problem. The system is easily reconfigured and it adapts automatically. You're shipping globally and need to sort to multiple doors today? No problem. We just re reprogram the routing. So there's a lot of flexibility. Another point is our redundancy. Hundreds of robots are, control are controlled by redundant servers, and the system has no choke points and no single points of failure. So the last point I'll share is 
that while our system at the surface appears quite simple, it's just bots and pods, right? The beauty of the system is that from an operator's perspective, life is really easy. <clears throat> There's a huge amount of math happening automatically in the background, and we have so many levers that we can pull. Every installation is like a fingerprint, and that's as unique as the business itself. But from the operations center, it's seamless. So to yardstick our efficiency, let's just say that traditional heavy iron systems require 18 to 24 months to design, deliver, install, and start shipping product. The Nike Japan system was up and running in just a few months. Our simplicity, show, our, excuse me, our simplicity and flexibility shows up in faster go lag times and less headaches down the road when the business changes. Our bots are tracking when batteries, wheels, et cetera, need to re be replaced. And predictive maintenance means operations has fewer emergencies to react to. As the e-commerce industry strives to shorten the time between a customer click and the product landing on their doorstep, fulfillment centers are getting physically closer and closer to the customer. And that means that a DC that's 30% smaller and twice as efficient is very valuable just from a land cost perspective. We don't dedicate much space to infrastructure or egress. The building is essentially all product. So combined with lower labor utilization, energy efficiency, lower equipment costs, the Nike Japan solution delivers results by reducing capital and operating expenses. And we see this trend happening more and more in the move to micro DC, where size, density, and speed are the only way to enable within the hour delivery, and that's coming very soon. So what was the result of our system? Well, the result is that with only 200 robots, we manage 150,000 square feet of inventory and can achieve three times labor efficiency and two times cubic utilization benefit. Smaller footprint, less labor, higher throughput, tons of flexibility. So yes, we had a lot of important benefits, but the most important is that Nike Japan can provide customers same day delivery in Tokyo. That just wasn't possible before. We really like it. Nike liked it so much they made a video and I'll close our case study with a short version of it. Dream your little dream As small as it may be Once again, I'm Mark Messina. Thank you for your time and thank you for the RIA for providing this forum.